we're still at the uh, Mobile Bus Forum 2011 uh, taking place in Miami, and we are with a company called TeleDNA, and uh, we are with uh, Mahesh. Yes. So Mahesh, tell us uh, who TeleDNA is, because this is the first time we hear okay. uh, your company's name. Right. So tell us who you are, because we have no clue. Okay, so TeleDNA is basically a data vast uh, product company. We develop the product like uh, traditional SMS, MMS, WAP, SDP, but now we are actually moving towards uh, innovative way of offering the end-to-end -end solution like a cell broadcast, mm -hmm. including the client, SDP with the client, and we are also offering SMS-based innovative services for the emerging market. Okay. Now, you are originally from India? Yeah, this company belongs to India. Okay, uh, so you are, I'm assuming you have experience with these services in India? Yeah, we have actually traditionally now leaders in India. We work with the tier one operator like BSNL, we work with the operator like uh, Maxis, which is a air cell, yeah, Telenor group, which mm -hmm. is a Uninor. Yeah. So they have been buying traditionally all the products from us like a CBC, SMS, MMS, SMS router, SDP, uh, web gateway, welcome roaming solutions. So end-to-end -end solutions are being bought by them. So now we are moving as a strategy, we are moving to the APAC, Middle East Africa, okay. and the Latin America, which is a growing emerging market. So now tell us why Latin America you think you're going to have uh, a competitive advantage to offer your services in Latin America? Okay, we believe that uh, Latin America markets is something similar to the emerging markets like India, for mm -hmm. example, and the solution which we are offering uh, is has to be you know more customer-centric and more revenue generating because we believe that the voice revenues are coming down as well, naturally. You don't have to believe it, it's true, it's happening. Yes. So what is that we can add the value? I mean, I cannot go to the operator and say, I have this product and the platform. And with our experience, we believe that operators are looking for end-to-end -end solution now, meaning that they want the entire ecosystem to be built where we can go to the operator and say that I have a platform, I have a back-end content provider, I have the advertiser yeah. and I bring the entire end solution with the SLA of showing that I will improve your revenues month on month. Okay. So with that concept we think that we have you know better opportunity and of course uh, the penetration is still low. Uh, maybe the subscriber penetration and also the internet penetration. Okay. So we believe that Latin America is an opportunity for us and that's the reason we want to be there. Okay. Well, I have good news and bad news situation for your company. Yes. So the good news is that all the operators, as you are seeing here in the show, are looking for mobile bus solutions. Yes. They are very open uh, right. to explore different options. Bad news is that there is a lot of companies now trying yes. to enter the Latin American market, and operators are, I, I won't say that they are taking advantage, but they are going after the um, uh, revenue sharing model, by which, yes. okay, you bring your solution to me, I'll let you work it out, you know, but I'm, I won't pay you unless I make money. Absolutely right. What is your take? Uh, you know, the good news is good news. What do you think about the, the bad no, news? No, I think the bad news is a good news for us. Okay. Because we want to offer a differentiating business model. We want to become an extended arm of the operator mm -hmm. in terms of adding the value. So we just don't want to sell the platform as a one time, but we want to see that it is growing. So we want to become a long-term partner by offering. It could be a revenue share model or it could be a managed services, meaning that we can even manage their end-to-end -end VAS okay. by tying up with the local companies uh, which is offering the content, for example, we can manage their end-to-end -end services and we can improve on the operational cost, efficiency and the revenues. Okay. So we are the one who want to be into the revenue share kind of a business. So you are flexible on that? Absolutely, because that's the only long-term you know, strategic partnership which we can bring into the operator. Okay. Now, uh, you're mentioning that you obviously are offering the end-to-end -end solution. You have part of the solution, but then you bring the partners yes. together. What is your plan in terms of, for example, a Chilean operator says, okay, I want to use your platform, TeleDNA, you, you have convinced me. Right. Uh, now you have to find the local partners. Uh, are you able to, to locate those people within the yes. market? Yes. I mean, there are two ways of it. Sometime like, for example, when we went to Indonesia or Vietnam first time, mm -hmm. uh, operator has suggested that they already have some master aggregator. Okay. And then they say that, why don't you club together? And they brought us to them and we form a kind of a venture okay. which is offering into end solution because it was in the interest of the content provider also because he was getting a innovative platforms innovative applications so he can actually show his revenue growing and the same way we could do you know so it was a win-win situation for them that is one way and then we are also talking to I mean if based on the our experience we are identifying who are the local guys 
who can actually help us you know on the contrary you will be surprised now the content providers are coming to us saying okay. that i want to launch i want to work with you with this platform can you become a partner so i think they are also realizing that for them it is not easy and they also have to tie with the platform owner. so it's a win win situation which is helping operators okay now uh, given the fact that sometimes operators at least in latin america perhaps in other markets is a different situation sometimes uh, giving up control over certain areas of their uh, solutions uh, they, they don't feel that comfortable so when right. a company might come and say i'm going to give you you know i will manage your bus uh, structure they might say woof you know you're absolutely right. You can help me out, but you know, I'll, I'll yeah, keep yeah. some control. And sure, over, sure, sure. Although that might be inefficient, but you know, it's kind of a cultural thing. They, they still need you. to open up a little bit more. So what's your uh, recommendation to these operators that might be still thinking that they need to uh, so retain control? So as a, as a strategy, uh, normally, I mean, if you see uh, the Indian Bharti Airtel, mm -hmm. which was the first Airtel. to have the outsourcing on the core and network. Okay. Okay, so they, 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 they absolutely to okay. Ericsson, Nokia's of the world. Okay. So they are not then, managing. Yeah, then they went to the IT side to outsource to IBM kind of people. So they were still holding VAS, which you are absolutely right. But now they are realizing that they also need to have the VAS outsource. So okay. they are outsourcing VAS. So our take or the recommendation to the operator is don't give the managed services on the day one. Probably we become a partner with you. Okay. Okay. Show you the revenue increase and maybe you can give us a probably slowly operation and maintenance because every operator want to have the slim and trim organization today in terms of the manpower and they want to focus on the customer acquisitions so we actually become an extended arm but you are absolutely right the trust has to come over a period of time so i think it will take maybe two years but we have to actually start that you know and if somebody take and if he makes the money they will the market you. will follow okay the so market will copy. You know, just to finalize a quick joke, if uh, Airtel is outsourcing core, uh, billing, uh, VAS, what are these guys doing, playing golf? The Airtel, Airtel executives? Uh, no, I mean, they are actually, they have the other things, you know, because the competition is growing. Okay. So the ARPU is coming down, so they have to actually still look for the innovative ways of, you know, uh, customer acquisition. Okay, so more on the marketing side and... Yes, their focus is more on the marketing side. Okay. What are the new schemes to come? And they are actually... It's handling the stock market, basically. Okay. That's their focus is, you know. All right, well, hopefully they'll have some time for golf, too. Sure, sure. Oh, I, I look forward to that. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank thanks. you so much. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Bye.